We're now going to show you how to scan for the quadratulum borum block. There are a few different variations of the QL block. I've got my patient lying in the lateral position, so I think this is the easiest uh, position to start with. And I'm using uh, a low frequency curved array probe. I'm going to start off by just placing the probe in the midline, and I want to be able to identify, as I'm doing that, I want to be able to identify a spinous process, which would be in the midline coming shooting down. Uh, and either side of that, you'd see the lamina um, down here, the lamina either side. And as I, this is coming, these are the articular process. You can see the little peak. As I keep scanning laterally, you'll see a bright white line. This is the transverse process. So I've started from the midline, move laterally. I'm aiming to see uh, a white line there. There we go. That is the transverse process. And now I need to get from here to the lateral aspect. So I'm going to follow around on that on that transverse process as i've moved my way around here hopefully you can start to appreciate i'm going to drop the game just a little bit now hope you can appreciate we're now scanning that same transverse process but we're looking straight down onto it so now this is vertebral body pointing up towards a transverse process articular process would be out here and spinous process would be out here now if we follow the, the transverse process right the way up, you'll see it points to a very dark muscle. And that dark muscle it's pointing to is a quadratus lumborum. Posterior to that, running sort of paraspinously, that is going to be the erector spinae muscle. And anterior to that is the psoas major. So we've now, you know, people call this the thumb of God. This is a thumb going straight up into the air. It's pointing to a, a muscle or a flagpole with a muscle hanging off it. That muscle there is QL. So if I was to scan any more anteriorly, you'd be over the intra-abdominal wall, uh, and then you start to see the abdominal wall muscles. That thinness of those muscles there um, is the transversus abdominis. You see it petering down. You keep coming back to this lateral aspect. I'm just changing the angle of my probe. You can see I'm holding it nice and low, changing the angle of my probe. That dark muscle over here is the QL. There'll be three techniques to describe, at least three techniques to do blocks around the QL muscle. You've got the Probably the, the one that's gaining the most traction at the moment is the anterior quadratus lumborum block, which aims to deposit low plan so that between quadratus lumborum and the psoas major. Uh, and you would come in from the posterior aspect. This is great for abdominal surgery. You get really good analogies for abdominal surgery. Bring a needle in from the posterior aspect is actually quite superficial. It's only about, um, what is that? That is uh, reading three to four centimeters in our, in, our, in our model over here. So yeah, three to four centimeters. Come in from the poster aspect with a with a, um, a needle in plane, and you aim to inject low cancer into that space, into that groove. I change the angle there, views a little bit easier. Into that groove between psoas and um, and the QL muscle. Some people have used a nerve stimulator. Turn the nerve stimulator on when you get twitches in the quadratus lumborum muscle. You know you're in the muscle. The moment you pop out and you're in that middle thoracolumbar fascia, the twitches will stop. Then you inject low cancer in that area and you get a great um, a great result for abnormal surgery. Always put the color Doppler on because there are large blood vessels that run in this area. You don't want to miss one of those um, inadvertently. So make sure you put the color Doppler on before you do your block. Uh, so the, that's the anterior QR block is injecting low cancer over here. If you overstep the mark and went towards the psoas, uh, the lumbar plexus is lying down here, so you may get lumbar plexus blocks. You don't want to do that as part of your QL blocks. Um, then there are two other approaches being described. The lateral um, quadratus lumborum block, injecting at the lateral surface. That's kind of like a continuation from what would have been a tap block. And right at the posterior surface over here, there's the posterior quadratus lumborum block, where you inject over the posterior aspect of the muscle. As I said now, the, the block that's gaining the most traction now is the... Um, uh, is the anterior QL block, but you can see it's key to be able to identify the bony landmarks, to be able to identify uh, the muscular landmarks. And the other thing we haven't talked about is if I ask our model to take a really big deep breath in for us, start to see a kidney pop, pop into view and just relax and breathe away normally. So you just got to be careful with how you do the block because a lot of people misinterpret the QL muscle and think it extends all the way over here, but actually there is um, paranephric space and a perinephric space over here. So you've got to be careful, make sure you're injecting low cancer in this space for the anterior QL block, that for the lateral, and over here for the posterior.